y'all. It's a cold, windy, rainy, wet morning. It's kind of rough when that water hits you. Kind of rough when that water hits you. It's kind of cold. But it's about 720 right now. And uh, the wind's blowing a little bit this morning. But we hunt yesterday afternoon in here. We're on GMA this morning. Hunting a little bit of game management. And, uh, and I got my uncle hunting with me this morning. He's hunting on down below me. I'm hunting with my, uh, hunting with my 270. And so he's hunting down below me. And I'm going to hunt this creek. And I got a clear cut off to my left. And an acre and holler off to my right. And from there it turns into nothing but a thick, a thick, thick uh, undergrowth. With the whole pie straight through the middle of it. So. I don't know how good this morning's going to be. But. We was thinking that they would have to be moving. After all that rain yesterday. I mean, it rained all day yesterday, and I think it stopped raining about 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Hunted yesterday afternoon, didn't see anything. We hunted right here, and we didn't, we didn't see anything. It was pretty quiet, so, so we decided to come back this morning and see if something would happen. But it might be a good morning, so... We'll see what we can see and uh, check back in with you. My uncle just shot. He just shot like five minutes ago. So I figured I'd tell y'all. But yeah, he just shot like five minutes ago. And he said, and he said he shot one buck and walked out. And yeah, he said he shot one buck. And after he shot that one, he said an even bigger buck stepped out, and then he shot it. He said the first one dropped in his tracks. He said the second one ran off and piled up in some thick stuff. And he said he thought he heard him go down, crash. So that's awesome. I'm, that's that's awesome. I'm glad he's seeing something. So congrats, bud. Congrats, buddy. I hear you, man. But, uh, he said, he said he heard the second one fall, so, I don't imagine he went too, too far, so, awesome. Get my gun, make sure I got all my stuff, got my bag, got my gun, okay. Got everything, okay. Make sure I got everything. Alright, I got everything. I'm getting ready to walk out. I gotta go straight up this hill and over that valley and come to an old road bed. And then I'm gonna go over here and help my uncle Buddy. My dad's just pulled up, he got off work. So I'm gonna go over there after I get my stand on my back and everything. We're gonna make our way toward the road and uh, go find his deer. I mean, it's siding. There's dad. Dad just got here. And now I gotta go over yonder. Right across. To go help them. On the side. later or about twice his size come in and I shot him as well and he ran about 70 yards and piled up there's blood everywhere but I'm not exactly sure where the hit was so we're gonna leave him in the truck 
We're going to go back. We got a dog on the way. We're going to see if we can relocate. We'll get back with y'all shortly. That's good, dear boy. I can't tell you how many fuck we need to do, buddy, because we need to shoot straight through there. It is what it is. It's actually the same freaking day. Uh, <laughs> I got home and we got done this morning after we uh, got the, all the deer loaded up and after we actually found, you know, the deer. You know, we, I think everybody was pretty tired. I was especially. Mostly because I didn't sleep much the night before. Uh, the night before, you know, we went hunting. So I'm pretty sure that didn't help anything with me being low on sleep to begin with. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't really film, you know, a whole, whole lot right there toward the end. That's why uh, a lot of... A lot of parts are probably looks like it's missing. Uh, I think the last clip that y'all seen was uh, was where the dog was actually next to the deer, and was sitting, we was all sitting there looking at it. And uh, but yeah, the, my camera was freaking trying to die on me. I couldn't film a whole whole lot. I had to watch what I film, otherwise I was gonna kill my battery. And uh, but yeah, we actually found the deer. We found, like I said, we found the first deer, but we was looking for his big deer that he shot, and we couldn't tell where the deer had went. We found blood, but then we lost blood at the same time, and when we lost blood, we didn't know what to do. And when I say we lost blood, I'm talking like bleeding like crazy, like for real. A lot of blood, and then all of a sudden, a speck here, a speck there, and then nothing, nothing. I mean, just flat out cold. But at the same time, we also figured the deer couldn't have went too far because uh, Buddy said that he had hit the ground when he shot. And he thought he was still laying there when he got down this morning to go down there and look, but obviously not. He had got up and and we followed the blood trail, like I said, but it didn't, it, it, it didn't go no, no to nowhere. It faded out pretty quick. So that's when we called a friend of ours that's got a dog. Uh, he's got a chocolate lab. She Her name is Teal, and that was... Um, who y'all seen in the last clip her name was Till and she found that deer probably in 20 minutes maybe if that you know that I mean it saved us for real I mean that dog really did save us because I think we probably walked all around that deer no joke we walked all around that deer and when she got to him we seen where he had actually died at yeah we yeah we walked all around that deer and didn't find him but anyways I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are already wondering what did the deer weigh? What, what did both of them weigh? What did the small eight point weigh? And what did his uh, six point weigh? Well, the small eight, I think he weighed around 140, 145, somewhere in that general area. And yeah, yeah, 145, 150, somewhere in that area. And the six point, the big six point, he weighed uh, like 185. Now he was a stout deer, y'all. I mean, I don't know if y'all could tell on video or not. But that deer had a heck of a body on him. He really did. He was a mature deer. And, you know, he and he was freaking heavy, too. He was a horse trying to get up out them woods. And if we didn't have people to switch out to try and drag, we probably wouldn't have made it real, real far. It probably took us longer than it did to get him out of there. Especially when you're not even close to the truck to begin with. <laughs> but overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the freaking video. Uh, did not make it this afternoon. Like I said, everybody was freaking tired. I know I came in the house and probably laid down for at least three or four hours i was done with when my head hit the pillow but i'm probably gonna end up going hunting in the morning and uh, i got a few spots in mind that i'm thinking about going that i haven't hunted yet this year but i think it'll be good to hunt i think i think it'll be looking pretty good i don't know what it looks like in there but i'm thinking about a few spots in the back of my head that uh would be a good spot to go to somewhere it's new as always hope you guys enjoyed it. and if you will please hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up and uh i will see you guys next time and remember, no matter what you are doing, hunt safe, fish safe.